This is a bond valuation problem, and it looks very much like the ones that we've worked from the very beginning. Um, the only difference is instead of telling you what the discount rate is or telling you what the yield to maturity is, I just give you some information about uh, an issuer's credit rating, and I say the credit spread is this, um, and then I give you a treasury yield. And so in order to uh, piece everything together, you just need to recognize that there is a, there's a step one to this valuation. And that's just determining what the yield to maturity should be. All right, so the yield to maturity then is just going to be the, uh, the, the, the treasury yield for uh, a treasury of a similar maturity plus the credit spread. So that gives us the yield to maturity because remember, the credit spread is just the difference between the yield to maturity of a risky bond and the yield to maturity of a safe bond of similar maturity. And so here then, uh, the yield to maturity that we are after in this problem is the treasury yield, which is 0 0.023, plus the credit spread, which is 0 0.054. And so that equals 0 0.077. So that's the yield to maturity that we're going to use. Of course, that's an annual number, and so we're gonna have to quote that, uh, we're gonna have to convert that to a semi-annual value, and so we'll just divide by two for our calculations. All right, so now, we have just a straight up bond valuation problem where we have 13 times two is 26 ticks on the timeline. We have 5% coupons, so 50 per year is gonna be split into two $25 payments. So I'm gonna have 25s here as my annuity payment and then a par value repayment of $1,000 at the end. So what do we need for our financial calculator? $1,000 is going to be FV. 25 is going to be EMT. And I'll make both of these positive because they're inflows to the bond investor. 26 is N. And I is going to be 7.7% .7 divided by 2. So, okay. 1,000 is FV, 25 is PMT, 26 is N, and 7.7 7 divided by 2 equals I. Now, this bond should sell at a discount to par, that's because the yield to maturity is greater than the coupon rate payment. And so th this number sh that, I, that I get should be something less than a thousand. So let's see what it is. Cute PV. And there's the answer, $780.66.